With the release of Atomic Heart and Redfall coming soon to Xbox Game Pass, I thought I'd look at the best first-person shooter titles on Xbox Game Pass in 2023. If you're on the hunt for the ultimate FPS experience, look no further than Xbox Game Pass. Trust me, there's an incredible selection of FPS titles that will blow your mind and take your gaming journey to the next level. So get ready to dive into the world of heart-pumping action with tactical shooter games that will have you on the edge of your seat and epic slow-motion puzzle shootouts that will challenge your strategic thinking. Here are my top 10 FPS games you can play right now on Game Pass. Let me know if you agree in the comments below. Okay, kicking off my top 10, but in no particular order, we have the just released Atomic Heart. Atomic Heart could be the new poster child for single player games that are just too darn fun to apologize for not having multiplayer. It's like a huge intricate playground for you to explore and uncover secrets at your own pace. This game has it all. You'll be shooting super-powered enemies and solving mind-bending puzzles with a grin on your face. The lengthy journey is definitely tough, but don't worry, you'll look terrific while doing it. The enemies are elaborate and imaginative, both biological and robotic, and you'll have an impressive set of combat options to dispatch them with. Sure, there are a few rough patches like the less than spectacular melee combat and those pesky fetch quests, but the overall journey from A to B is a feast for the eyes. Just don't expect the story to stick its landing. And yes, the dialogue's a little bit cheesy, but hey, that's okay. The ride is the real star of this show. Get ready to take a trip down memory lane with the iconic GoldenEye 007. I have a real soft spot for this as it was one of the first co-op games that I played for hours and hours and hours that made me want to buy a console. This classic FPS game may have aged over time, but its charm and impact on the genre remain as strong as ever. And now, with GoldenEye on Game Pass, you can relive the wonder and tribulations of the early days of FPS gaming on your newer console. Look, the graphics may not be as impressive as some of the newer titles on the list, but the controls have been vastly improved, making this game a joy to play on the Xbox Series X and S. Experience the game's classic gameplay and feel the rush of nostalgia as you embark on a spy adventure with James Bond. So why not take a break from your usual modern FPS games and give this ancient shining star a chance on Game Pass? Trust me, it's definitely worth it. Don't miss out on the chance to rediscover the magic of GoldenEye 007. Looking for an FPS game that breaks the mold and keeps you laughing from start to finish? look no further than High on Life on Game Pass. This game is a unique blend of platforming and shoot 'em up action with an extra dose of humour that'll have you in stitches. Well, it made me laugh, put it that way. If you're a fan of uh, Rick and Morty, you're going to love this one. From talking weapons that have a personality all their own to zany and crude jokes that will test even the most liberal gamers, High on Life is a true standout title in the Game Pass library. It's a game that doesn't take itself too seriously. And you know what? That's part of what makes it so fun. So if you're in the mood for a break from the usual deathmatch style FPS games, give High on Life a chance. It's the perfect game to take you on a hilarious spacefaring journey with a cast of characters that are sure to keep you entertained. Get ready to take on the ultimate demon slaying experience with Doom Eternal on Xbox. This game takes the already fast paced action and excitement of the Doom series to new heights, redefining the formula and setting a new standard for the FPS genre. The glory killing and shotgunning mechanics have become more tactical and strategic, with different types of demons requiring specific weapons and ammo management being critical to your success. Doom Eternal is a game that will keep you on the edge of your seat with its split second chess moves and epic battles that require both skill and strategy. Plus, you know what? It's actually quite a good platform game. Who knew? And to be honest, I found it quite challenging in places. With improved story environments and even tougher challenges, Doom Eternal is an absolute must play in the Game Pass library. So grab your shotgun, 
load up on ammo, and get ready to take on the demons of hell in the most intense and thrilling FPS experience yet. If you like your Doom a bit more vanilla, then I have to include Doom Eternal's predecessor, Doom 2016, as a also mentioned. Prepare for some high octane, open world FPS action with Far Cry 5, one of the most entertaining games in the series. With the option for two players to engage in campaign co-op, the fun is doubled. While it may not be the absolute pinnacle of the Far Cry experience, it's a pretty solid entry that ticks all the right boxes for me. You're going to encounter larger than life yet eerily familiar enemies, experience unpredictable wildlife encounters, oh my god that's a pain, and explore an immersive open world sandbox. The ability to team up with a friend to tackle the chaos and destructions makes the experience even more exhilarating. But the narrative is also really, really good as a single campaign game. Do it on your own or grab a buddy and get ready for some unforgettable adventures and a crazy narrative, as I said, in Far Cry 5, one of the must-play games in the FPS genre. Look, I get it. It didn't move the needle or advance FPS games in a way that we've come to expect with the Halo titles. But that old adage, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, applies here. Halo Infinite is still a great FPS and the multiplayer quick play is a great way to let off some steam in quick sessions. The Halo Infinite campaign injects new life into the franchise. 343 Industries has combined open world gameplay with the classic Halo DNA, resulting in an unexpectedly perfect pairing that unlocks the true potential of the game. Playing through Halo Infinite's campaign is a revelation, showcasing the game's incredible potential for emergent gameplay. And as you follow Master Chief's journey across Zeta Halo to defeat the Dangerous Banished, you'll get to experience his most personal story yet, as he confronts echoes from his past. The narrative is engaging and truly immersive. Plus, with the addition of campaign co-op for up to four players, the fun and chaos of Halo Infinite can be shared with your friends, and a new season and chapter is coming very shortly. It's an exciting time to be a Halo fan, and Halo Infinite is a game you won't want to miss on Game Pass. Special mention here, as in also to consider, should go out to the Halo Master Chief Collection as well. I could have easily included it in this list. Alright, I'm going to go a bit left field and quirky with this next one, Kill It With Fire is a unique first-person shooter game that breaks away from the traditional gameplay. Instead of completing missions with guns and cover-based mechanics and ammo management, your objective is to slowly and meticulously eliminate spiders that have infested your house. You are equipped with an array of weapons including guns to exterminate the troublesome arachnids. With each weapon you acquire, the absurdity of the task increases resulting in a humorous and entertaining experience. Although there is a risk of accidentally burning down your own house, the satisfaction of ridding your home of every last spider is unreasonably rewarding. I'm not going to lie, the campaign story in this choked me up. The story is so well designed and presented with the music, art direction and setting, it has a real emotional punch to it. Even though, at its heart, it's just a narrative FPS. With Battlefield 1, you get all the hallmark features of the franchise, massive multiplayer battles, unparalleled player freedom, and intricately detailed destructible environments. But what sets this game apart from other FPS titles is its unique setting the trenches of World War I. The game maps and visuals capture the gritty and realistic feel of the era and the vehicle designs, especially the tanks, are especially immersive. Overall, Battlefield 1 delivers an unforgettable and captivating experience that transports players to a bygone era of World War I. Okay, so what if you're one of the more hardcore competitive gamers out there? If you're in the market for a multiplayer shooter that emphasizes competition, then Rainbow Six Siege is the game for you. With its destructible environments and diverse objectives and a cast of unique characters with their own skills and perks, it's akin to a Counter-Strike game. Matches are typically brief and filled with tension, with players split into two teams, attackers and defenders, and a brief prep phase before the action begins. Success often hinges on teamwork, as coordinated play between operators can lead to victory more often than not. Not for the faint-hearted, all the noobs. 
Wolfenstein The New Order breathes new life into the iconic FPS series with its gripping narrative and precise gameplay. I know it's a bit of an old game now. It's set in an alternate universe where the Nazis won the World War II and players assume the role of BJ Blazkowicz as he battles against the fascist regime. While it doesn't break any new ground, the game revitalises the franchise with intense encounters and set pieces that keeps players on the edge of their seats. Mechanised monstrosities and black-helmeted Nazis are just some of the foes players must face, making The New Order a thrilling and unforgettable addition to the series. With its perfect blend of old-school gameplay callbacks and fresh takes, Wolfenstein The New Order is a must-play of fans of this genre. So there you go. Do you agree with my list? What else would you have included? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the likes because I like it. YouTube likes it and it helps people like you find content like this. And if you are new here, then please do me the honor of hitting that subscribe button, toggling that notification bell, and that way you'll know when I go live with videos just like this. And you might consider checking out these gaming videos over here. Thanks for watching.